Education Minister of Nagaland, Mr. Elong. You know, there's a misnomer that the North Indian states, Northeastern states, uh, or rather the states to the northeast of our country, they are not giving too much attention to hygiene, and the, the process of hygiene is almost absent there. As the Education Minister, what are the steps that you're taking that hygiene can be inculcated amongst the children? Sachin sir, namaste first of all, and to all the panel that is there. I think uh, the Northeastern states not giving much importance to hygiene, I think it is a little bit of a wrong information. But uh, concurring to that, I would like to put this way, that even in states like Nagaland today, hygiene is taken in a very holistic manner. And as we are small people living in the villages, most of our people are living in the villages and on top of mountains and hills. The, you could have seen even during the COVID, the less number of people were affected by COVID because of our people's strong community initiative to keep hygiene and to be clean and to promote those things. And sir, you would be glad to know that some of the cleanest villages in the whole country are in, in the Northeastern villages, yeah. Northeastern area. And as an education minister, I take care of higher education. We are very serious about uh, not inculcating fear, but inculcating the right knowledge of holistic uh, hygiene and holistic health. So as students take it as a part and parcel of them learning and getting knowledge in every way, COVID-19 has brought a tremendous change, even in our state. And people, students are more aware about the disaster that it can bring by not being hygienic, by not being clean. And so even in the education department, the teachers are teaching the students how to, because COVID has still not been over. It is still not over. And to think that COVID will not come back would be another uh, disaster for us. So hygienic atmosphere is holistically being taught in the education sector nowadays. And like what our madams have been saying, hygiene is not only about washing hands and keeping clean, but also it's about the holistic hygiene, which each and every one of us would pursue to keep ourselves healthy, sir. Thank you. Thank Could you I just much. ask you a question? Actually, I think Amitabh just clapped when you said that you are the northeastern states are, in fact, an example for the rest of the country in terms of discipline, holistic uh, health, and cleanliness. And you just don't do it out of, and it's important, again, what Amitabh was saying, not out of fear. You do it out of consideration for others as well. What are the things that we can, as the rest of the country, learn from you in the northeast? There's so much to learn, but give us a couple of things related to health that we can learn from you. Dr. Roy, sir, one of the best way of implicating and doing those things in a region like Northeast or even in our the rest of the country is communitization of any health issues, anything. Sir, in our state, example in a village or in a community, we take it upon the community to keep such cleanliness or hygiene. We narrate a narrative, not just impose. Now example, through the COVID, one of the great things which the government of India and the health ministry had done was the caller tunes on the phones. Every time we pick up a phone or we have to make a call, the COVID issue was always in our minds. And that brought a lot of you know, awareness amongst the people. But tackling any issue, whether it may be in the villages or in the colonies or in the, you know, in Delhi and Mumbai, those are the 
flats, the uh, communities that live in the flats, right. can pick it up holistically. Because single persons in Libya is sometimes very difficult to do. But when we take it in community-wise, example, we were very aware about people coming in, going out of the villages. That's how we could protect our villages. Nagaland has more than 2,000 villages. And if COVID were to enter, example, then the whole community would be affected. So the community takes the stand that, okay, all the, you know, drainage would be clean. Uh, there would be every week, a group of young people would clean the whole village, example. And women would go, those who have knowledge would go among the women, all those things. I want to let you know, ma'am, uh, the doctor, madam, who is there. There are places, ma'am, you are very right. There have been places in our Nagaland, as far as Noklak district, where one of the uh, superintendent of police, one madam, um, uh, IPS officer, Mrs. Betty, she did a wonderful job. Because in such places, the menstrual hygiene was a very, very big issue. I don't want to elaborate on the media how the problems were. But she took the initiative with the community, with the women, and then today, they are able to be hygienic and they are able to, you know, get the benefit of menstrual hygiene without having so many problems and diseases that the women folk in the community were. Right. So the community initiative, Dr. Roy, is one thing which is very important. Right. And likewise, people in the hill area, unlike me, all are healthy. What my brother Siddhart was showing that exercise on the chair, I don't know when I can do that, but <laughs> I really would one day pursue to try to do that. You, you and I, we will do it together <laughs> day after Thank tomorrow. You. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>